What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, first of all, I'm just going to address that this is a chocolate stain because I was eating chocolate cookies and I stained myself. But I didn't have time to get changed so we're going to roll with it. Now, I've been seeing a few of these like everything I hate about my car videos. I see like TJ Hunt done one and then I did one in like years back with the Fiesta and I thought I'm going to do one with the RS. There's not much I'd say I hate about the car but it's just things that agitate me and I really dislike about it. Um, I'm going to go with the first one which is probably pretty obvious. Also, if anyone calls me a sport brat, do one because I just hate certain things. Everyone has certain things to hate. Is the Symposa thing. I can't remember what it was called. The thing that I did a whole video of trying to fit and I couldn't even get the clip undone, which was stupid. So one, Ford put the clip on stupid. That is the first thing. Two, it was a stupid clip. And number three is, whenever you start these cars up, when you've got an induction kit on, they just sound like they're gonna blow up. They just keep sound like they're sucking in air and it's just gonna blow up something and it's really, really scary and I don't like it. So that's probably my first thing just because, one, it probably should have been designed better because Revo and that, everyone's sort of made a kit now to fix that problem. Second of all, the way they did design it was stupid because you can't get it off and on properly. And third of all, it's just scary and I don't understand why you need for it. But that's gonna be my number. Juan. Number dos, which is two for my English viewers. The window wipers. You may think this sounds stupid, right? But the way they're set up is like this. So when you're driving along and it starts raining and you've got the auto wipers on, they start doing the YMCA. And you may think this sounds stupid, but if you sit in the car when it goes on, you just look at it and think, why was it designed that way? Why did they need to do it that way? But I have found one good problem, one good thing about this problem is you can do this which I don't advise you do, but I just do it for banter. I found it out by accident. If we lift these up quick. All right, so look, you see what I mean by they're like a YMCA instead of like that? This is the fun part. All right. <laughs> okay, the last time I did that, it stayed on a lot longer than that, but, you can see that you can have some fun with it and this one definitely buys it. But it's still just one of them things is, why would you design a car to do the YMCA when it rains? Because it's just like this, and you're driving down the motorway and I just feel like an idiot. I feel like everyone's just looking at me and thinking, that geezer is stupid window wipers. I was even tempted to take one of the wipers off so I'd just have the one, but then I thought I'd just get a lot of shit for it so I'm not gonna do that. But if anyone else has an RS and you like that, you're not saying because it is stupid. Stupid design. Number three, or tres, the, the third one. Okay, first of all, if you're looking in the car and see Xavier's air freshener, it's because you begged me to run that, and I'm gonna show you on the screen right now an edited picture of what I think would look better as the air freshener. I'm gonna have the picture here, this is why I'm doing this. Okay, now from that, ignore that, right, look at the van shoe, because that's a lot better. All right, Xavier, keep on back, whatever. The start stop system on this. Now, when I start the car, oh yes. So the start stop button, you, can you have to turn it off. But unlike BMWs, BMWs have it next to the start stop button. So when you get in the car, you can turn it off immediately. But here you have to turn it off here, or you can turn it off through the menu. But there's no way, let's turn it off, save that fuel. Can't afford to run this car. There's no way in the menus to permanently turn off start stop. So say you've gone for a hard drive, you forgot to turn it off, you stop at a set of lights, you want the car to go down, it will just shut off. And it's just so frustrating. And it will even make you stall when you shouldn't be stalling because of how the start system works. I've had it before where I've gone to go, I shouldn't stall. It's stalled, and then I keep putting my foot down to go, and it keeps kind in and out, in and out, in and out. And just has like a spasm. I just really don't like the way start stop is designed. And I don't like the fit fact that you can't permanently turn it off. Now, whether down the road with mapping you can turn it off, I don't know. But it's just one of the things is, if it's on the car, it should be a setting in the, in the actual menu, say, I want it off permanently or I want it on permanently. Like, you should be able to choose. It shouldn't be, you're, you're having this on, deal with it, you little shit. Like, no, I don't want it. You have it. Mind, you, mind your own stop-start business. Like, don't want to know, mate. But that was number tres or tray. Now I'm going to get on to, is it sync for? Quattro. 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 We've all been there. This is quattro. Like, the four-wheel drive system on the car. Quattro. Which we're going to talk about now. We've all been there. We're sitting at a set of lights. We got we got the 16-year-old lady who just pulled out of McDonald's drive 
and that Corsa Sea Drive is coming up next to me in that Cherry Bomb Resort, so I asked him to say, race me bro, and I'm just like, damn, you won't get smoked. I've got launch control, but the launch control in this car is stupid. Let me explain. You don't simply have a nice launch control button, like with the start stop, they make it a pain in your ass. So you have, this is how I have to engage launch to impress ladies. You come in here, okay. So you've got your like normal setup right here. Now you gotta go left. I always forget to do this. Go all the way down. Bear in mind, you see what the traffic light's waiting for it to go green. You get in your settings, you go driver assist, and then you could activate launch control. LC will come up somewhere saying launch control's activated. I can't remember. Oh no, I didn't activate it. But right, launch control is now activated. And then you only have that amount of time before you go. So literally, oh my god, my head's stuck in there. Ignore that. You get there, you have to throw it straight into launch. You have to get through all them settings and then launch control off. Like, why not just make a nice simple thing? I don't know how these glasses have got stuck in there either. It's the Quattro system, obviously. But that is that is Quattro, because that is just so frustrating. I don't know why I can't make it simpler. Like, in the, like Fast and Furious, where you just get the lights go, Whoa, go. Like, I want my launch, but I want it a lot more simpler than it is. The fifth one, we're just going to follow me. Can we all agree that that is faster than this? Shut up. <laughs> Cinco, number five. All right. This one's sort of a personal dislike where other ones I can see people agree, some people might agree, some people might not. Now, when I do my dirt nasty modifications like my split kit and my roof, I like everything gloss black because plasticky just looks cheap and nasty to me. Now, with this car, on the outside, they've got a lot of this weird textured plastic, like the fog lights, this thing in majiggy, this grill, and then even the rear diffuser, the lower bit of the bumper, is all that sort of material. I mean, some people might like that, but for me, it just looks a bit like, let's have a budget car, let's see what we can shave off money here. Like, why not just make it a gloss black plastic? I'm sure it wouldn't cost that much more, and it's so much better, like every car, even just new BMWs and shit these days, they just put cheap, nasty plastic on it. So, especially as this is like the top of the line focus they do, they don't do another focus like this. The only better cars in each port you can get in England anyway, is like a Mustang, or like a GT, but they should have really done like a gloss plastic on this. And I don't mean to sound like a dip, but it's just one of them things that should happen. So that is my Cinco. 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 That is my Cinco. But there's a lot of things I do love about this car. See, I don't want to be that guy. It's just like, oh, I don't like this and that. It's a lot easier for me to go through all the things I love about this car. But as you can tell, the things I dislike about this car isn't exactly a deal breaker. It's just like a personal thing or just a frustrating thing that has happened with the design of these cars. But I still love the car in every way, shape and form. It's a mad car. And obviously I've got a lot more big expectations and stuff. But I thought it would be interesting to do one of these videos just because it's interesting to see. And I want you guys like, down below to comment five things you dislike about this car, apart from the driver. Or five things you dislike, dislike about your own car and what car you've got. Because it's always interesting to see people's personal opinions on cars. They've, a lot of people got the same sort of car, obviously. But some people dislike one thing and some people might like another. So it's, it's a pretty good little community thing to talk about, I think. So I'm going to leave that to you. Um, one last thing before we wrap this video up. If you can, go grab some new merch. Not with chocolate stains. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, and sign up to the patron. It helps me out so much. To all the patrons, I love you. And all your stickers have been sent out and will be with you by the time you watch the video, you'd have had it. So, the special edition gold flake ones, you got them already, boys. Uh, big things to come, and I think we've got air freshness coming soon for the RS. I hope you're hyped for them. Make sure you follow me on Instagrams, keep active with all my followings, smash a like, hit comment down below, like I said, about the five things you dislike, and smash the subscribe button because it means a lot and I love you so fucking much. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you boys in the next one. Hope you had an awesome one. Peace. <laughs> right, hey, that was launch. naughty. Yeah, for all the settings to launch. Here we go. Oh, hang on, five miles per hour. Yep. Right, that's it. What I'll do is I'm going to launch it to five. Okay, right, ready? Three, two, one. Now. Fucking hell.